The amount of active clay, or methylene blue clay, in a sand system is monitored using a zone control chart. The zone control chart is a statistical tool used to control the stability of a process. This method enables the operator to maintain the MB clay content close to the target value. First, the target value is marked as a line spanning across the x-axis of the chart. In this example, the target value for MB clay is 7.1%. The goal is to maintain the MB clay content close to the target value. Depending on the deviation from the target value, a numerical score is assigned. When the individual test values are distributed in the green or one sigma zone, it is assigned a score of one. Similarly, when the test values are distributed in the two sigma or yellow zone, it is assigned a score of two. For the test values farther away from the target, the assigned score is larger. In the first test result, the active clay content is 7.2% and is marked in the corresponding box. This falls within the green zone and has a score of 1. The second test result is also 7.2% and is marked accordingly. The scores are added cumulatively. When the cumulative score reaches 8, indicating the test values are on the same side of the target for too long, action is required. The operator then adjusts the bond addition to move the test value lower or higher, depending on the area where the cumulative value 8 is found. In this example, the clay addition is reduced by 1 pound, from 29 pounds per batch to 28 pounds per batch. After the adjustment has been made, the cumulative score is reset. While plotting the chart, there are three other instances when the cumulative score should be reset. The first instance is when a single test result is in the red zone, beyond the three sigma range. An immediate adjustment is required. It is recommended to take a retest first to avoid an adjustment based on an abnormal sample. The second instance is when a test value crosses the target line. In this example, the cumulative score restarts from 1 when the test value crosses the target line. If a test value falls on a zone division line, it is assigned the greater numerical score. For example, if the reading is 6.9%, the test value is assigned a score of 2. The last instance is when there is a set point adjustment resulting in a change in the target value. This typically happens when there is a change in the mold line. For a continuous shift operation, the test accumulation continues with the scores from the prior shift with no break in the plotting. 